Yo, welcome back. It's your boy, Mr. You. Ah, it was cringy, huh? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm probably not gonna do that again. But these intros need a little work, huh? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Chat GTP to do your reading assignments. So let's get started. It's a New Zealand article, and it's called World Ways Laws to Reign in the Mighty Algorithm. So this is like about AIs, AIs that have been on the internet for the last 10 years or so, not the new AIs that are generative, but this is the AIs that rank stuff humans have already made. So we're just gonna read about it, but before we do that, let's use ChatGTP to help us pre-read it. So pre-reading is like when you're playing a video game, a loading screen that comes up whenever the map loads, that little screen that comes up was the same idea here. When you're pre-reading, what you're doing is you're kind of loading up the information into your brain so when you're actually reading, it has an easier time processing the, if that information. So if you don't pre-read, the article is gonna lag a lot. Just like when you don't load up the map right away in, be before you play the game, the gameplay is gonna lag. The same thing happens in our brain when we don't pre-read. So that's why it's so important to load it up inside your brain so you have an easier time getting down to business. So let's get down to it. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna ask ChatGTP to help us pre-read this document. So let's go ahead and copy the title here. I'm gonna copy it here. I'm gonna to go to ChatGTP. I'm gonna say, I am a student, period. I need some help pre reading this article. Please give a brief overview of the article and we also want chat gtp to help us with some vocabulary i am a student let's tell it tell it let, we're in seventh grade i am i am a student in seventh grade i need some help pre-reading this article please give me give a brief overview of this of the article please pull out any vocabulary words I might have trouble with and define them. Um, all I'm going to put a semicolon and then let's go ahead and paste this in. We'll say this is the title. We'll write down this is the title. And then let's copy the article body directly from the site here. And is that good? Yeah. Copy, and we're gonna paste it into chat GTP. There we go, and then let's press enter, and let's see what it says. All right, the overview of the article. The article discusses the growing concern among lawmakers worldwide about the power and influence of algorithms, particularly on social media platforms like Facebook and YouTube. These algorithms can contribute to the spreading of misinformation and hate speech. The radicalization of its users. The article mentions problems with algorithms in other areas such as food delivery apps and biased decision making. Lawmakers are debating various regulatory measures to address these issues, but no consensus has been reached yet. Okay, cool. Now here's some vocabulary. Before we read, we're gonna get ourselves familiarized with these vocabulary terms. So when we actually go into the reading itself, we'll be able to see what a dealio is. Algorithm, a set of instructions or steps used by computers to solve problems and make decisions. Automated reasoning, the use of... So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our article and just read about it. So this is just like you want to just read regular. If you need help reading this, if you like, if you don't want to read it out loud, you can just click on it and read out loud. An algorithm is a set of instructions or steps used to solve a problem. The app that I used to read to me is called... An algorithm is a set of instructions or steps used to solve... It's called Read Out Loud. If you want to download this, you can. It's a Chrome extension. Basically, when you after you have this downloaded, any of these will allow you to do this. All you have to do is if you are lazy or if you just don't feel like reading or le reading is hard for you, all you have to do is highlight the paragraph that you want to read and then just hit read out loud and then it'll highlight that section. It'll bring it out over here and it'll just read to you. So you just want to go through this and just 
come over here and just read what's going on here. And then after that part is done, what you want to do is you want to break these things down into smaller sections. So let's say that you read this and it just went over your head. You can just copy this section only. Let's go back to our chat GTP document here. I'm going to paste this in and say, summarize this section. And I'll paste in the section and then it'll give us a little summary of this little section right here. So while that's doing that, we'll come over here and we'll read about that. It's just blah, blah, blah. It's a set of instructions they produce called automated reasoning. These days, algorithms are everywhere. In China, authorities are worried about delivery apps that encourage drivers to speed. People become radicalized. Facebook has faced criticism in 2021. Um, all right, let's say we did all that and we did this whole process for all of this article here. And let's see if we actually understand what we read. So what I'll do is I'll highlight this again and I'll copy this and I'll go back to chat GTP. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paste this in. I'm going to write create a multiple choice test on this article. We'll paste this in here and then and let's take the test. We'll hit this. All right, now it's going to give us like a multiple choice test to after we read this article to see if we actually understood what's going on. So we'll wait until this loads up all the way and then we'll take the test to see if we nailed it. If we got it all perfect, then we know we can move on to actually writing the summary for this, this article. Let's take the test. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to, I'm going to say, uh, I am ready to take the test. Let's start with number one. Okay. Number one, let's see if you get it right. What is an algorithm, a type of computer hardware, a set of instructions to step-by-step -step use to solve problems, a new social media platform, a programming language. Okay, number one, B. Okay, cool. Question number two, all right. What has caused lawmakers worldwide to want to regulate algorithms? Their influence on various aspects of life, including social media, job opportunities, their potential to improve society, lack of usefulness, their roles increasing global, I think it's gotta be A. Correct. Yes. Good. Now we got that correct. Question number three. I'm going to purposely get this one wrong to show you how you can use this quiz to deepen your understanding of the text to see where you messed up. See, what issues do authorities in China have with delivery app algorithms? They're causing increase in food waste. They encourage drivers to they cause traffic jams. They lead to job loss for the driver. The answer is... They cause accidents and traffic jams because drivers are speeding up to get better scores. But let's say that, uh, let's say, we'll, let's pick A and then we'll, I'll show you what this looks like. Let's say A, incorrect. The correct answer is, so it's telling us it's incorrect. Let's go to number four. I'm going to say, can you show me in where in the text the... Question number three shows up and hopefully it'll be able to bring up the text in paragraph. And then it's going to bring up the paragraph in China. Authorities were worried that delivery apps that are encouraging driver to speed. This sentence addresses the correct answer. Okay. So now that you can see how you can use this, you can go back to our article here and we can find that. And it actually tells us the paragraph number two from the following paragraph in China. There it is. In China, authorities are worried about the app encouraging drivers to speed. All right, I hope this kind of makes sense. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use another AI technology to actually write what we, what we know about this. So let's open up a Google Doc. So sometimes I don't feel like typing and 
Probably you guys don't either. Mostly I don't like to type because I make a lot of mistakes when I'm typing and also because I'm a dyslexic and I make a lot of mistakes in spelling. So what I do when I'm trying to type something is I go to tools and then I click on voice typing and then I click to speak here and then I'll click on this. Hello. Is this working? Hello, is this working? Actually, it's not gonna work for me because I'm using this mic to type, this mic to speak into this to the computer. So it's not actually gonna pick it up. But for you guys, your computer should be able to pick up everything that you're doing and then work on it. All right, so this is this app is called Otter and it's the same thing as a Google Docs transcription. Basically, it's an app that'll take your words and turn it into text. And I'm gonna use this because it won't let me use this mic and Google Docs at the same time because I'm recording. So it's the same idea though. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to my article here and I'm gonna give my thoughts about this article and different sections of this article into my phone. Algorithm is a set of instructions used to solve problems. And basically what this article is talking about here is that these algorithms have gotten really powerful over the last 10 years or so. They do a lot for our society from recommending YouTube videos to helping us find jobs, lots of other things in our daily lives. Their influence has become so great that lawmakers, people that make the rules for this country, decided that we need to figure out new rules to govern these things because they are so powerful. And it's just not just in this country, it's all over the world. It's in China, for example, algorithms are causing people to drive faster like food delivery trucks. So they're, gonna have, they're needing to figure out what are the rules that govern the algorithms over there. And then in America, some of the biggest problems that we're having with social media is that these algorithms are showing YouTube. For, so that's like the, an example of what that looks like in terms of what the, trans, that the transcription process looks like. The next thing you're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull the transcription from Otter. I'm going to pull this transcription. So this is the one I did earlier here. So basically, algorithms are these... So I'll take this, I'll take it all out. Now I'll jump back into chat GTP and I'll ask it to, this is a transcript of me talking about this article. Please organize this transcript into a three essay and then I'll paste the transcript in here and then chat GTP will spit out a pretty decent essay or three paragraph article on the things I talked about in the video in, uh, in the transcript and then all you got to do here is let's say we already did that I'm gonna take this thing that Chat GTP gave us. I'm gonna paste it on here. And all I'm gonna do now is I am going to edit this article or the summary. I'm gonna edit this document now with my own words and my own thoughts. So algorithms are a set of instructions or steps to use to solve a problem. They have become more and more a part of our daily lives. I like that. They influence everything from YouTube recommendations to job selection. So we talked about that. And then, all right guys, just to recap everything, basically what you wanna do here in this particular assignment is use ChatGTP along with transcription to read this article. So first, ask ChatGTP to give you a pre-reading download. So ask it to give you the big sections, ask it to give you the vocabulary terms, and then do the actual reading. This is where you're gonna sit there and read with your eyeballs, or you can listen with your earballs. And then the next thing you want to do is have ChatGTP create a quiz for you and take the quiz. For the parts that you get correct, that's awesome. Just move on. If you get something wrong, ask ChatGTP to tell you where in the article that part of the question was supposed to be at. Go back and reread it. And then what you want to do is summarize each little section so it makes sense to you and then transcribe it using Google voice to text, text to vo voice to text. Yeah. And then take that transcription, put it into ChatGTP and have it write you a three paragraph essay or three paragraph summary on it. And then re edit that summary. So it sounds like what it would sound like in, in your own voice. And yeah, that's basically how you're going to do this assignment. 
I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll probably make another video or more videos on how to use AI tools in our technology class. Bye, everybody. See you guys on the next one.